angry studio. <laughs> Welcome back to a brand new video and well a lot has happened over the past couple days we lost a lot we met a lot we fought a lot but now is the time we have to gather people for this army to take down V <sighs> but I don't know really who to get at this point <sighs> Dwayne do you have any suggestions Choppy! Maybe, but he only usually comes around once a year. <sighs> think, think. Uh... I got it! Hey, the Vida! Hi, Brida! Angry J Sponge! He was there in Odyssey and he helped us take down Chevron. I'm sure we can convince him to do it again with some weeaboo shit. <laughs> Let's call him! Oh, well, he's a. No! Um, sure, I'll go get you some. Patchy, look, I'm really sorry for forgetting about the Christmas party. I've been so overwhelmed with bullshit recently. Can you please forgive me? No! Patchy, I said sorry. Why so angry? If this is Sandwich God asking me for more cheese, I'm going to fucking freak out. Hello? Yo, Sponge, what's poppin'? Ah, uh, Millie, long time no see. What do you want to do this time? Well, uh, me and Dwayne were wondering if you would like to collab. Ugh, sure. I got nothing going on since Patchy's mad at me. How about anime? Wow, I never would have guessed. How about My Hero Academia? Uh, hell yeah. We're gonna do the first movie. I'll talk about the positives, and you talk about the negatives, okay? No, I wanna do the positives. Okay. Okay, now that I'm doing the positives, let me just say this. I am not much of a weeaboo, and I am damn sure not as big of a one as Sponge here, but I do get into anime from time to time, like Dragon Ball, Attack on Titan, Bakuman, which is definitely one of my favorites, you should watch it. But I gotta say, the one anime that has gotten the most joy out of me is My Hero Academia. The show overall is just really good. I actually care about the characters and want them to succeed. And it brought a lot of me and my friends together. And we recently went to see the new Heroes Rising movie in theaters. 40X too, where the seats would move around. But we're not here to talk about that movie. We're here to talk about the first movie. In the year 21X, in an era of heroes versus villains, everyone has manifested superpowers which have become normalized in society, with some jobs even requiring specific powers. There are those who use their powers for good, we call them heroes, and those for evil, we call them villains. The show follows Izuku Midoriya who wants to follow in the footsteps of the number one hero All Might, and is taken under his wing to begin his journey to become the number one hero. He is enrolled at UA High School, a prestigious school for future heroes, and with his friends by his side, they work together to fight villains and become great heroes. <music> Jokes aside, My Hero is a really good show, and it is a lot of fun. It has great characters and a great story, and while it and OKKO have similar premises, I think it's funny how the best character from both shows are Frog Girls. The first movie, My Hero Academia 2 Heroes, takes place between seasons 2 and 3 of the series. Luckily, there's not much spoilers in the movie, and the story is very self-contained, just like any other cartoon or anime movie. The story follows Midoriya, All Might, and a few of the students from Class 1A traveling to I Island, an island full of scientists and enhancements for superpowers. When villains take over the island, leaving all the pros useless, 
It's up to the kids to save the day. But where does the name Two Heroes come from? Well, the movie mainly focuses on Midoriya and a new character named Melissa. Haha. -ha. Melissa, like Deku before he met All Might, doesn't have any superpowers. And I love how she basically reflects what Deku would have become if he had never met All Might. I think the movie title is very clever because of this, it really fits. I won't really go over the plot of the movie because spoilers and I really want you guys to watch it, but let's go over the characters at least. First of all, after watching Heroes Rising, I gotta say, going back to two heroes is very criminal. The characters in this movie are not bad, don't get me wrong, it's just, there's so much less. Only half of Class 1A is here, and it's just limited to Deku, Bakugo, Ida, Todoroki, Kaminari, Kirishima, Mineta somehow, Udaraka, Jiro, and Yarorozu. But I can see this as a plus because with less characters, it gives these characters more fleshed out moments and time to shine. Especially because characters like Jiro and Kaminari rarely ever get cool moments in the show up to this point. Every character is badass here. Even fucking Mineta gets a badass moment and it's, it's awesome. And the animation in the movie is just god tier, especially in the final battle. Like, oh my god, the composition and the fact that they waited until the final battle to play You Say Run is just... Oh, and speaking of the music, the music! So many great pieces are featured here, especially the end theme. The end theme to the movie is a faster tempo and an energetic version of the outro from the show at the time, and I love it. I love it when slow songs are remixed into faster ones, like Beneath the Mask from Persona 5 whenever it got remixed in Smash Ultimate. Overall, without giving spoilers, this movie is really great, and is definitely one of the best anime movies in recent memory. Luckily, the sequel expanded on it even more, and I really loved it. So watch both movies when you get the chance. Now, let's see what Sponge has to say about the negatives of the film. <clears throat> Sponge? Okay, uh, I'm gonna put my iPhone on the TV stand so I don't have to hold it the whole time. All right, let's start. My Hero Academia 2 Heroes is a kick-ass movie, but it does have some problems. The pacing is fine, but the slow moments just drag on for so long sometimes it makes me want to hit Jimmy Neutron in the face with a book. Yes, the fast-paced moments are really fucking cool, but the slow moments really feel like I'm watching a documentary about All Might and Deku sitting on an airplane for most of the movie. Like, for fish shake's sake, I just want more Deku kicking this asshole's ass than watching everyone walking around the island for the whole fucking movie. Deku likes to overreact in the main series. That isn't necessarily a bad thing in the main series because it's pasted pretty well with the other jokes in the series. But in the movie, it just can be very overwhelming sometimes. It is absolutely not the worst thing in this movie, but it completely could have been better. The animation for this movie is so well done, like what Millie previously said, but there is actually silly problems when you watch this movie for many times you start to notice a lot of inconsistencies. Here's an example. In the beginning of the movie, when the young All Might was chasing some bad guys, there is a part where the bad guys are running away on the bridge, and yet no one is reacting, and are just standing still like nothing happened. What the fuck? Look, that shit is just dumb, even if you're on a budget. Come on, man. The villains are really fucking weak in this movie. Look, I get they have to have some lame-ass villains so they can get the professor's shit back, that does make sense, but it's just such a goddamn bad guy move to betray the person they hired for so they can use whatever they're doing to use it for themselves. The villains are just not that interesting compared to the TV show. Melissa, the professor's daughter, isn't really the best well-written character in the movie. Yes, she does help by helping Deku resetting the island's security system and giving Deku a glove type thing to let him use all his power, but she just isn't that well-written and just feels forced to be with Deku with the whole movie. The part where all the heroes were just trapped in the same room and it's up to Deku and his friends to save the day is just kind of silly. Yeah, I do understand why, but All Might could have literally just broken free and kicked all of their asses. I do understand the villains said if anything happens, they would kill everyone on the island, but oh my fucking god. All Might is literally the god of this universe. Even if All Might was a little weaker during this movie, All Might is just so much stronger than that. 
he could have just kicked everyone's asses like that and no one would have gotten hurt. It's really pointless having the other UA students in the movie. Like, for real, there's no point of having them at all. The only reason why they're here is to make the runtime of the movie longer. Finally, my last problem I have with this movie is, why in hell does this island not have a backup system? Like, that is the dumbest shit I heard since Pepsi. Stop supporting Pepsi, man. Well, that's what I have to say about My Hero Academia 2 Heroes. Did you have a fun time, Millie? Absolutely. The movie is really good and I highly recommend a watch. Yeah, that was really fun. We should try to do this more in the future. Maybe. But hey, speaking about the future, me and Dwayne kinda need your help. You see, there's this villain that we need to take down, and we fought her, but we weren't enough. So, we're gathering a lot of people to help us take her down. So, you wanna help us? Only if I can bring my waifu. What? No, what? Then I'm not fucking coming. Ah, God damn it, Sponge, we need you. Then let me bring my waifu. <sighs> Who the hell is your waifu? My Maka Alabrin doll. What the hell's a Maka? Maka Alabrin from Soul Eater? Fuck. The same people that animated My Hero Academia and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? Still not ringing a bell. Never mind that. Can I just bring the goddamn doll or not? <sighs> You'll have to excuse me for a minute. Okay. Fine, you can bring Maka. Just please help us. Alright, I'll come. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> anyway, that's gonna be it for now. We finally got Sponge to join our army, and overall, we watched a pretty good movie. So, I think that's gonna be it. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, take care. <laughs>